Now with Democratic pollster Margie O'Mara and Republican pollster Chris Wilson. To both of you, thank you. And Margie, I want to start with you. Steve was just laying out some numbers. The Kansas Senate race is as close as it can be with independent Greg Norman Orman challenging Republican Pat Roberts. Who has the momentum, you think? Well, I think when you see a Republican like Roberts focusing, as Steve noted, on such a processing message on making sure we don't flip the Senate, I mean, that is so uh, that that's it really reinforces actually the negatives that Roberts has that he's gone Washington that he's part of the problem of Washington that he's not part of Kansas anymore he doesn't really get it he doesn't really get voters and I've talked to so many swing voters in focus groups and in battleground Senate states not Kansas but elsewhere and they don't, they're not thinking about their vote that way they're not thinking about their vote in terms of uh, process or you know what's going to happen in the Senate but what does it mean for me what is this candidate going to do for me and do they really get my life and even Robert's own positive message reinforces the fact that he doesn't get voters lives yeah and Chris what are the races you're seeing as being possibly really too close to call right now well, I think these two races, Kansas and Kentucky, are complete uh, exercise in contrast. You've got Kentucky, where Mitch McConnell has run a multi-year campaign, campaign. As soon as Rand Paul won, he immediately started reaching out to the Rand Paul people. He spent a lot of time campaigning in Kentucky. He goes back every weekend. He's just very connected to the state. Conversely, and I agree with, uh, with what Steve was saying, you've got Roberts, who is now in a tough race. It's really more because he was running against an independent, but hasn't really been as connected to the state, hasn't gone back as much. And so because of that, he has, I, I think, has focused on the wrong message and really it was challenged in a primary that brought out some of those challenges that have exist for him. K Kansas should be a much safer race than Kentucky, and it's not because of the way in which he's run this overall uh, campaign. I do think, though, what the Kansas race, I think both Republicans win. Really, Kentucky, McConnell hasn't been, as Steve said, he's outside the margin of error. It hasn't been close since uh, the first part of October, and he probably wins that going away. Kansas, I think, is one that becomes much closer, and it becomes, it be, is all about do Democrats kind of hold their nose and vote for an independent in that race, and if so, then Roberts probably wins. The the one thing that Steve talked about him bringing in national Republicans is an important part of that. And this weekend, he's closing with an ad with probably the most popular man in Kansas right now, Kansas State football coach Bill Snyder, which probably does a better job tying him back to the state than anything he's done so far. Yeah, I mean, he does have very scant ties in many ways to the state. But, but Chris Wilson, he's got a recliner. Thank you. Right. Thank you both for being here.